as a first application I suggest that we build an application in which we have an image and a button when we click on button the image changes okay so this is going to be a really simple but a real teaching application okay so let's find some images in order to integrate in our project so let's open our browser again and search for any image so I'm going to search for Metallica here and go to images okay uh, let's find some uh, good image here like this one so I'm going to save this image okay so I'm going to name it Metallica one and find uh, another one like this and I'm going to save this image as well say Metallica 2 after that I'm just going to close this and in my downloads folder I'm going to select these are not the same picture right now okay I'm going to select everything that I need and I'm going to hit Control C for copy or Command and C if you're on Mac and I'm going to just go and select my drawable folder under resources here and I'm going to hit on Command and V Control V for pasting and I will say OK and what's going to happen is that Unreal Studio just copies these uh, files into our project folder so now we can reach these JPEG files within our project folder so let's open our layout and get rid of this Hello Kotlin so click on it and click delete or backspace and it will delete this for you so let's make this a little bit smaller and let's make this a little bit larger so under here we have some objects like a button like a checkbox like a seek bar and everything so we're going to see the differences and the usage of these uh, in the following lectures in the following sections but for now uh, what I want is to integrate an image view an image view is an object which we can display our images so when you drop an image view into our project it will ask you what kind of image you want to display uh, you can choose the Metallica options that we have already integrated into our drawable or you can choose anything you want like this uh, IC launchers so I'm going to choose this Metallica from here and uh, let's see if we can make this a little bit smaller by just taking these edges and making it like this okay so I'm going to place this into the middle of screen or a little bit higher maybe as you can see we have two sections over here which is uh, this is the main layout and this is the blueprint so it doesn't show the fancy things like images but it just shows the plan the blueprint for us okay so we're going to see uh, everything related to layouts within the layout section but for right now uh, it will just a practice for you it will be a practice for you okay just drop this and select the Metallica and know that you can just uh, select choosing only the blueprint only uh, the design section or the both of them from here and you can even just make it like this uh, switch to portrait switch to landscape and everything so after just selecting this image from here what we need is a button right because what we have set 
uh, we're going to have a button and when we click on this uh, this picture will change right so not button but as a text I want change right so what we have to do next is to click on this infer constraints button and it will just create some constraints for us and we will see how we can work with constraints in detail in the following lectures but for now know that if you don't have any constraints the application will not know where to put these objects even if you just put it into middle of screen when you run it it will show up in a different way uh, when you run in, in your actual simulator because you need to have some boundaries you need to have some constraints in order to contain your objects okay so click on run app again and it will update your emulator in order to show your uh, latest application layout for you so Gradle is running and everything seems to be fine and when you go to your emulator you can see your screen now looks like this anyone opening your application will see this picture along with this button when they click on it nothing will happen because we didn't write anything into coding section right so let's do that in the following lecture